so scary. You were just saying that's one of your worst nightmares, tornadoes. Yeah. Thankfully, I've never experienced one. But yeah, it's, it's crazy to see what's going on across the country. But Amber, this is usually the time during exactly. spring. You get the cold air, the warm air, and boom. Oh, Chris, you can take my job <laughs> yeah. any day. Come on, you taught me this right. the last six years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is the time of year where the air masses are kind of battling it out. And that's because we do have that cold air that Chris is talking about from Canada. You can see all that warm air from the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that well-defined line. This is where we're starting to see a lot more of those showers breaking out. So this is why down in the south we're looking at those showers and also tornado warnings and watches. You can see those red boxes right there. So we're probably going to see a lot more of these things kind of breaking out as we get a little bit closer to spring or we head into spring, which is officially starting on Tuesday. Here in Southern California, though, we're actually looking at the winds decreasing, but we also have our fair share of some unique weather taking place. And that's because we are dealing with the chance of some showers and some isolated thunderstorms from a system that's sitting just to the southeast of us right now. 51 degrees this morning for the San Bernardino area. We are watching for those winds, those offshore winds to become a little weaker today. And then those isolated showers and thunderstorms begin to pop up. And then by the time we head into the weekend, we're gearing up for some warmer weather weather, which will be on the way. So here's a look at the satellite radar. You can see all that activity kind of, kind of streaming in just to the north of us. And then we're also starting to see it come in just to the east of us as well. So right now, the satellite radar shows that we do have a few showers still lingering over the mountains. But as we head into the next few hours, things are going to start to warm up. And then we're going to start to see some of that activity pick back up again. And the reason why is because we are sandwiched between these two systems. That high pressure system has moved up toward the Pacific Northwest. So this low pressure system is closer to us and this is what's bringing in that wraparound moisture as, as it continues to spin counterclockwise. So as we head toward the latter part of the morning, we could start to see some showers picking up, some isolated showers, and then we could start to see those isolated thunderstorms as that sun comes up and kind of cooks the atmosphere because we do have a little bit more of the unstable air right now. So 9 a.m. we could start to see some showers picking up near the mountains and also near our high desert communities. Then as we head into the lunch hour, we slowly start to warm up a little bit more. So by the afternoon, we can can't rule out the possibility of a stray shower kind of drifting west of the mountains headed into any one of our lower basins and that also includes LA and Ventura County, the Inland Empire and also Orange County. Saturday same drill but we start to see the shower activity decrease just a little bit more and then by Sunday we should be in the clear and we should be slowly warming up. LA and Orange County 70s today with the chance of showers upper 60s by tomorrow and then St. Patrick's Day looking good 71 and then look at that first day of spring 70 I love it. Amber, thank you. As we head out the door, we are taking a look at Sky Call right now in the 60 in Hacienda Heights. Uh, he's trying to get all the way over to the stall that we have in the Inland Empire, but stopping here to give us a look at this area. The westbound side, you can see much heavier compared to the eastbound side. Now, this is what's going on. This is what we're going to see once he gets here. Salt Big Rig, eastbound 60, past Vineyard. Two left lanes are blocked. You can see that backup still building. It's 13 minutes to get from Euclid to Vineyard, but you can't take the 10. You can take the 210, both heading eastbound to help you get around that backup. The rest of the Inland Empire, relatively quiet now that a lot of that road work cleared up. We do have this crash clearing now as well 15 south of the 215 so just keep that in mind and LA right now we have a brush fire reported westbound 105 before the 405 it's over on the shoulder you can't see that backup leaving the 110 and a reminder for tonight bad bunny at crypto.com arena so that's kicking off at 8 p.m. you can expect delays on the freeway surrounding the area as well as the surface streets Sheba back to you all right thank you Kalina it's CBS News Los Angeles your local news streaming wherever whenever